it's me, Michelle, with Michelle Lucas' blog. Today is Sunday, January 9th, 2022. And, yeah, I guess y'all seen my baby back there. My, her hair got matted up on her top of her head and over her ears from sticking her head out the window. There was no getting that mat off. We had She just had to cut it off. Bless her heart. She looks so silly. But it'll grow back. But I, I need to take her to the groomers anyway. That's the next on my list. Anywho. I said, you know what? I need to go on there. I was wanting to tell you guys something. I, oftentimes when I'm driving, I, I, I'll be... I'm sorry that the phone's jumping up and down. Oftentimes when I'm driving, uh, I have a lot... Of, I, I, I talk to the Lord and you know I, I don't know I, I go into deep thought about you know just life in general and you know um, oftentimes there's a lot of myths about um, living uh, a life that is um, pleasing to God, but not only that, um, is in a close, uh, in close harmony with the Lord, and, um, there's many like myself who have, who've made that commitment, and do strive to be, you know, the best me I can be, and yet I fall short daily, but I, I don't stay stuck in that guilt. But I'll tell you, this is how <clears throat> this is how the enemy works. So after you know, I, I do my Bible study and stuff. So this morning, nothing has changed. There's no that have not experienced anything different or change, other than you know some pain, physical pain. But yet I get out today and um, part of it is because of the pain, but um, I'm feeling, you know, somewhat anxious. And it's not, I'm not anxious about anything in, in uh, actuality. I mean, I'm, um, I'm just anxious and it's, it's the type of anxious anxiety that, um, it makes you want to, you know, stay inside and just, you know, barricade yourself off from the world. And, you know, I've learned in my life how to, you know, draw close to the Lord and know that no matter how bad I'm feeling, no matter what's going on in my life, He's right beside me. And in fact, the times when I'm feeling the worst is when He carries me. Because I have been through so much and just like many of you you know and people wonder why um, wonder why okay well if if you're walking a close walk with the Lord you know why are you battling sickness why are you battling you know situations with your children why are you battling um, you know um, financial burdens and things of that nature if you had a, if you were walking a close walk with the Lord, um, all that stuff, um, doesn't He bless you? And it's the it's Satan's way of twisting the facts. For example, our children. You know, I would say probably. I don't know how what the percentage is, but. I think we all start out with the with the great intention, and we we love our children. We bring them into the world by the grace of God, and we love them. And you know, when we first have them, they're just we just we love them so much we can just squeeze them. You know, you can't get enough of holding them, and you know, um, and just you know, nurturing them. And then they grow up. And they become toddlers and then they won't they won't leave things alone and then they found then they find their voice and they're trying to um, they're trying to establish their uh, 
their self as a person and you know and learning the rules and uh you know what's how we should behave and you know you know you can't be out there acting like a a, a tyrant you know you need to rule your tongue you need to give respect in order to get respect and you have to listen to authority and that authority is your mother and father and um and your mother and father should be listening to the authority of god okay so you see how this is all folding out at first satan begins to attack the the he begins to attack the unity of the family and he um it starts you know and he does it in so many ways he's very clever he's very he's he's uh you know he's very good at what he does but just because we've done something or just because we failed in an aspect of life that we cannot let that dictate the rest of our life now back to the what i said well Michelle, if you know you have a relationship with the Lord, why are you why are you struggling? You know why why are you having difficulties? You know the God that you serve does He not bless you? But what they don't know is, although my physical struggles are sometimes the material things in life, um, I can honestly say God has provided every need he has provided every need physically and he's also provided healing because i've been at that point where i was so sick i couldn't lift, lift my head up off the pillow to eat and i i really honestly thought that it, that was going to take me out and um but god had other plans for me and you know you know, our children, we love them. But sometimes the best life lessons in life is letting them learn on their own. You know, when they get grown, even when they're, they're a teenager. And, you know, and the thing is, is we have to have, as parents, we have to have faith in God that he's going to do what he said he's going to do when we're not around. Now, so, because you can't... <laughs> You just can't have, you can't choose and pick the scriptures as you like them. Now, you may not understand a scripture, and you may pray for knowledge, and that's what we should do. But the ones that we do understand, we're not to twist them or contort them and, you know, cherry pick the scriptures so that um, it, uh, you know, fits our lifestyle. And, you know, and the devil wants to, he'll come at you with that. He's like, you know what? If you really were serving God, God would have already blessed you um, uh, in material things, and you know <clears throat> you wouldn't have been sick. But that's not true, and that's a lie from the pit of hell. And God does not. That's not my. Uh, the fact that I still stand today is the testimony of Jesus Christ. And. When thing you know, without going in too much of everything in, as my as my childhood, because um, I'm just not ready for that. Um, if you only knew what he brought me through, you know. Um, and, and some days, when my heart is heavy, especially when I'm really thinking about and praying about, you know, these children who have been abused in the most horrific way. Um, when my heart is heavy like that and I'm praying and I'm asking God to use me and everyone to bring those children home, to rescue them. And also when we do that, our problems don't seem so great big. And we can look and we can say, you know what? Get thee hence, Satan, in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us that if if we would rebuke him, he shall flee. Now, I mean, and sometimes in that moment you don't feel like he's um, fleeing. Just hold fast, keep your eyes on God, because 
he can do all things for our good. And when you have situations like that, try not to get ahead of yourself because I've done the, I've done that myself. And I go, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And the next thing I know, I'm burnt out. It, you know, because I took that step ahead and I did not consult with the one who created me. He created each one of us. And you know what? He's the only one that knows our every need. And you know, and I'd rather be living um, a humble life, materialistic, and I know a lot of people say this, but they don't live it. But I'm telling you, I'd rather live a humble life and walk closer with the Lord than anything. Because I've seen people, you know, search, you know, I don't, I, I'm one of those people as well. You know, I had, I worked as a registered nurse. Uh, you know, I was making, you know, I was making really good money out in California, but you know what? None of that brought me happiness. And in fact, some of that was some of my darkest days. Um, but God was allowing me to um, test the waters and say, he says, you know, you test it. You, you know, I want you to know what life is without me, even if you have money. And so, uh, I'm, you know, last night I was um, outdoor dashing to pay my electric bill. And uh, praise God, I got a car to door dash and I'm able to door dash. So I'm not saying that because I want pity because I do not want pity but uh, the thought you know as always I'm, I'm always I'm normally you know either talking to the fur babies or um, I'm you know in deep meditation with the Lord and uh, and I thought to myself I said Lord or I said this out loud I was like Lord you know you created me uh, why did you make me so stubborn? <laughs> and it was like, I, I, he answered me, he's like, had you not had fortitude and perseverance, you would have never, you would not been able to co go through the things that you went through whenever I wasn't there, when I was not walking closely with you. I still had you. I still, I, I kept the enemy from devouring you, but I had to let you go. I had to let you learn where true joy and true peace comes from. And I'm like, gosh. He's right again. <laughs> I mean, he really is. And, you know, he loves each one of us. And and, and so as I think about this country and where we're at, you know, I, I noticed someone put a, uh, posted a meme with this girl saying, uh, she had on like a piece of cardboard paper wrote. Um, and I, I'm, I'm um, paraphrasing what she said because I can't remember exactly. But anyway, she, it, the sign said something to this effect. Um, Prayer is great and everything, but uh, we need we need we need people who are making or, or you know actually out there doing this or that and the other. Never ever, and I mean never ever, take for granted the power of talking with the Lord. And that's what prayer is. Prayer is talking with God. Um, you know, and so. <laughs> And I thought, you know, I, of course, I'm not going to leave a comment because it's not me. I'm not, it's not my job to correct her. But, um, but I, you know, I, I, I can, I can, <laughs> I, I see because I remember at one time I was, you know, just like that. I mean, anyway, and that doesn't mean I'm, I am, um, I'm, I'm not anything special. I'm just me. And um, I'm, a, I'm me and I love the Lord and I um, love Jesus Christ. And I am grateful every day for the day that he gives me. And for the health of me and my family. And my, for my fur babies. Alright guys, that's about it. I gotta get back to Dash and love you. Bye.